Magic Papyrus. I-45. Homage to thee on the body of the goddess Nu. Verily thou hast begotten the gods. The breath of the goddess Ma is in thy secret shrine. In rapture. Is thy mother, the goddess Maru, as thou dost emit the irradiation of light, and encirclest the world with thy blaze, till thou reachest that mountain. Which is in Akar. O thou whose faces are adorable. Even animals adore thee. And the entrails of beasts are conquered. They conduct thy barge on the sacred mountain. The spirits of the earth felicitate thee. They stand in awe at the blaze of thy disc. The spirits of the can acclaim thee as thy morning light illuminates their faces and thou passest above another sky where no enemy of thine exists. Only the flame of thy fire against the serpent Hahis. The red fishes are guarding the waters of thy barge. Thou disposest of the ebb bounty. Nubai shoots his arrows against him. He shakes the earth and the sky in his storm. His magic force prevails to destroy his enemies. His spear is a deadly blade for the serpent Ubnro. Akar springs forward and watches over him, he seizes upon him and restores him. Apostrophe truth. Idist, till sunset. The meaning of these mythological allusions cannot easily be guessed at. The red fishes perhaps refer to the change of set to a hippopotamus. To his jail. Devouring the two great eyes by which he prevailed. A fierce devouring flame devours him. Commencing from his head down to his souls, and roasting all his limbs with its fire. Thou sittest in motion thy rowers with a favorable gale. The waves are calmed beneath thee. Thy barge is joyful. Free are thy paths. As thou hast smothered that evil disc. Accomplish your task. You, Seku stars, Yuxi stars who move with the wind. Thou art the Mesak of heaven, the embrace of thy mother. As thou passest to the western horizon. The earth stretches its arms to receive thee, thou the adoration of all beings. Come to me, O Lord of the gods. Repel. From me the lion on dry land, the crocodiles on the river, the biting snakes in their holes. Stand back, crocodile maker, son of Set. Do not steer. With thy tail. Do not move thy arms. Do not open thy mouth be the waters before thee turned to a burning fire. Be the blade of the seventy-seven gods in thine eye. Be thou chained down to the great tor of Ra. Be thou chained down to the four harpoons of bronze. At once. At the prow of the barge of Ra. O stop thou maker, son of Set. Protect me, Ammon, bull of his mother. This is said on an image of Ammon, having four ams heads and only one neck, depicted on clay, with a crocodile under his feet. The seas are in gods at his right and at his left, adoring him. Book the first, to be chanted on all waters. The masters pronounce it to avail themselves of it against dangerous people. It is a true mystery of the royal palace. Liquid egg found on earth. I are substance of the sea zoon gods. Great in heaven, great in Hades. Who is in the nests over the waves? May I liquefy with thee in water? May I pass with thee into thy nest? I am Kem of Koptos. I am Kem, Lord of Koptos. This chapter is recited, an egg from the oasis being given into the hand of a person at the prow of the boat. Anything coming out of the water is thrown again in the water. I am the chosen of Milhons coming out of the lower heaven, whose name is unknown. When his name is spelt on the bank of the river, then it is dried up. When his name is spelt on the land, it is set on fire. I am Su, the image of Ra, sitting in the inside of his father's sacred eye. If he who is in the water opens his mouth, if he grasps with his arms, I will let the earth fall into the water's well. Being the south made north, being the earth turned round upside down, to be recited four times.